I got y'all right here on the weekly. I know it's been a minute since I've done it, but she is she is literally riding a pattern just like it like it shows. It's crazy. It's never changed. Like it's clear as day the pattern and it's just clearly just riding at twenty AM. Yeah, I mean, like I told y'all a long time ago, I'm waiting to get everything that like, this this thing is gonna do some numbers and it's and it's doing its thing, man. Look at that. Hard to believe that thing's around five bucks and boom. Just kept going. Uh, I can't believe like this thing is doing numbers, but yeah, I already gave y'all a heads up a long time ago because look at that thing just riding at twenty, nowhere near the fifty. Perfect. Let's go a little closer. That's the weekly chart, but y'all can see the overall dub and a retracement continuation and the pattern they're using for the retracement continuation on a larger pattern. And on a daily, look at that twenty just bouncing off to fifty. Like that is perfect. Like boom, boom. Like I can't even. This thing is just moving really nicely. Thing is, let's see if we can find anything. Like it looks like they recovered these candles, though. But you see how the way this wick right here, basically right here where this wick is at, but then it's another wick right there. It's like it recovered itself on its way up. So it's kind of hard to tell. This may not drop. It may just continuously just you know just ride the zone, it continuously going up and up and up. It may not drop like the other coins may take that drop, but it could still take a drop and it'll just be dropping this recovery this count this count that's right here. But I mean overall, especially if you went long, I mean this thing just going up. I don't see no dramatic drop here. Unless you're trying to be funny. Well, never mind. Nah, I doubt it. I doubt they come way down here. Ten twenty five bucks. No, yeah, I don't see that happening at all. That's probably where after after we actually make our next run, that may be where it come back to when we go to a real real markdown phase. But otherwise, I don't really see anything unless they want to take it all the way down here and recover this little bit of the candlestick. I can see literally just this little slither right here, and that's around fifty to fifty five dollar range. That's if they really want to try. So I say if it, definitely if it breaks down below sixty five, it's come, it might as well come down to the fifty five. I don't see why not to recover the rest of this candlestick. It was just like a spike on a, you know what I'm saying, an overall pattern, but not too much of a drip difference. But that's just what heads up because this part isn't recovered. Fifty fifty five dollar range is on the table. If it breaks below sixty five, going to fifty five. Fifty at the lowest with a nice spike. And then, you know. Then we'll go back up to continuation. We'll come back straight up here to this general area right here. This is the next resistance line. It's around the 86. I'll just say 85. Keep it simple. That'll be the next goal we'll be looking at after we have our retracement. If we have a retracement, that'll be at 55. We'll be looking at 85 afterwards. And it's not much of a move, you know what I'm saying, compared to what these other coins be doing. So, I mean, Luna looking pretty good. And it goes for Rap Luna, too. Same thing. But anyways, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grow and make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.